All right, looking at this question 130, this question has a lot of juicy parts, and I actually came up with a concept, a formula for this question, so I'm really excited to be um, working this one out. So let's look at it. It talks about Nancy who saves a dollar and then for each, and, and then also saves it for the next 51 weeks, but she's pretty much saving the number of the weeks she's in. So in the first week, she saves a dollar. In the second week of the year, she saves $2. The next week, she saves $3. And she's, this goes on until we get to 52 weeks in a year, which is the number of weeks we have. So before that, she saves 51 and, you know, 50, 50. Okay. So this is what we have. Okay. Um, and the question is pretty much saying, hey, what is the total sum? of all the money she has because all this money is accumulating over time. Well, this brings in a concept, like I said, that I invented called the head tail principle, right? This is stuff I come up with in my spare time. Okay. Head tail principle. What is the head tail principle? Well, it's just a really quick way to quickly add a sequence of numbers, right? Especially consecutive, you know, back to back numbers. Um, let's see what happens when we add the head and the tail, which is why I call it the head tail principle. If I add the head to the tail, I get 53, don't I? Right? If I had the next head, which is now two, and the next tail, which is now 51, I get 53 again. Well, if I add three and 50, I get what? 53 again. So what do you notice, guys? You notice that all we're doing is when you add the head and tail, you just get 53, but how many times, right? 52 is the total number of numbers. Well, each time you add the head and tail, it's a pair. So the question is, how many pairs do you have if you have 52? Well, you just divide 52 by two. So there are 26 pairs. There are 26 pairs in this list. So it's just gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna get 53, 26 times. Okay, so I'm going to multiply that, and that's going to give me 1378. And that's your answer. Your answer is C. It's a brilliant way to do this type of question. It's a type of question you could see. You're going to see a lot on the GMAT, um, you know, every now and then and stuff. So all you do is you add the head and tail. It's going to give you this number. Do it a few times, about two, three times, just to be sure you're consistently getting that number 53. But then all you have to do is say, well, how many numbers do I have? And just divide the total number of numbers by two. That tells you the number of pairs there are. And just multiply that number of pair by the 53. Boom, you're done, 1378. And you could show off to your friends on how to do this this weekend.